All right, ladies and gents. Uh, I guess beforehand, sorry about this shitty, messy backyard. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, I finally got my, uh, I'll show you this first. I finally got my kiln, <clears throat> ceramic kiln, wired up to 220. Um, this is the only temperature setting it's got is this uh, high, medium, low. It doesn't have a control pad. So I'm testing it right now for the first time. This is the first time I've ran on 220. I, I jimmy rigged it up to 110, but obviously it didn't get hot, near hot enough. It got to like 800 degrees. This way, when I plugged it in, it immediately got scorching hot. So this thing says it has a max temp of about 2200 degrees, I believe it. Um, on the low setting, I mean, it was immediately probably 500 degrees by the time I turned it on and moved back. So it's uh, hot, to say the least. So I am testing it right now to, uh, I threw a couple of my um, dud Yugo AK receivers in there from prior, you know, bends that didn't work out. Um, I have some, you know, a pile of uh, old shitty receivers that I bent myself. Um, so I am testing it for a heat treat because obviously, as I said, I am trying to do AK receivers. Now this is hot. I mean, look at that. It's like the flames of hell coming out of there. Um, when you open this up, I mean, it is fucking hot. Now, you only have about two seconds to get this in the uh, solution here. I have water, soap, and salt. Uh, brine solution, as they call it. I'm going to try that first, see if there's any crack and warping, anything like that. And uh, this is 4130 steel, so 4130 is supposed to be quenched in water from what I... I mean, there's a million debates about oil and water. Um, I'm leaning more towards water from the type of people that have posted saying water oil the the hardcore pros always seem to go water not that some of them don't go oil so um, but I think the 4140 is the one that you're supposed to do oil more so anyway um, I'm gonna try the water brine solution if that sucks then I'll try oil but uh, I do want to blue my receiver my good receiver after I'm done so I don't want to do oil and screw that up which is what they say can happen so um, this has been in there for about I don't know, three minutes and I'm having trouble even opening the door. I don't have um, a set of hardcore uh, gloves for, for doing this. And as you can see, flames of hell, hot. Holy shit. I hope that didn't just burn my lens. Nope, just fogged it. Okay, uh, yeah, it's hot. So I'm trying to figure out a way to open it. I got my little oven pad here, but I'm gonna need to go out and invest in some heavy duty gloves. Um, I've got some uh, tongs right here. I'm, however, worried that when I stick these tongs in there, they're going to literally melt immediately. That could happen, but trial and error is how you find out. So I'm going to put on welding gloves and try to get this and into that bucket within two seconds and see if I can't uh, harden these sons of bitches. If I do, they'll become very, very brittle. Um, so they'll need to be drawn back to which, you know, um, there's the heating it up to the, the light blue phase or there's putting it in a kitchen oven to 550 for an hour. Uh, 550 is generally a little low from what I've read. Now, again, this is all just from research I've done. Um, I, I think you want to be up around seven, seven or 800 degrees for tempering. Um, so I'll probably do these with a map to or uh, not a map torch, but uh, probably find a way, either put them in a, a little or oven that I have a toaster oven or something, S something that'll get to 700 degrees. Um, or let's see. No, I can't do that with a torch. So anyway, I'll have to find a way to draw it back uh, evenly. So that's my task for now. But I got this thing running, so I'm stoked. I am going to uh, pull these out now and drop them in the uh, quench if I can. So if I uh, screw some up, you'll be here to laugh. it wasn't glowing it's not glowing red like it's supposed to be now, I didn't check this with a magnet first these are duds so I'm just trying to kind of see how things go but as you can see I don't know if it's focusing or not but it's got that blue color that it gets when it's hardened you know that really 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 blue almost looks like it's blued hmm hard to say Doesn't sound hardened. I know. I know it should uh, ring like a bell when it's hardened. And granted, I'm probably not doing it right, but uh, it definitely did something because I noticed the color. But uh, I'm gonna have to get myself a telescoping magnet 
and uh, double check it with that because as of right now I'm just guessing I have this on the medium setting I put it on high and it blew my breaker so uh, I have one more dud in there and it's not glowing red yet I'm scared to turn it to high though I don't want to blow the damn breaker again but high says it'll get to 2200 I don't want it near that hot so I just need it to get 16 so anyway uh, trial number one this is the uh, Yugo receiver 1.6 mil thick um, I'm gonna say it was a no-go but further further testing will be needed so stay stay tuned pretty soon I might be offering to uh, heat treat your receivers for you I know Childers and um, Nodak and stuff already do it but who knows maybe I can do it cheaper maybe not those guys uh, those guys seem to have a, a routine down but if nothing else I can do my own so stay tuned